I got $25 here from Pay Money Wubby saying, let's go, Cronoon. And with that, guys, thank you for all the generous donations coming in. And we're working our way towards new heights here at HGDQ 2019. But now we're going to kick it over to the runner for your next two runs, starting with Echo Tides of Time. Let's give it up for Cronoon. All right. Wow. Thank you, everyone. Um, these games are awesome. They're also awesomely hard, uh, so good luck to me. Um, first on the couch, we got Aludra Kij Kijurin. Aludra Kijurin. The full name. <laughs> yes, uh, here's Upthorn, the tasser of this game. Mm -hmm. And uh, Listar, helping us out tonight. Hi. T today. T this is morning, right? <laughs> I think oh, so. it is. <laughs> All right, <Technically>. good. <laughs> um, so uh, let's see. Uh, some quick stuff to say before we get into this one. Um, I guess first the lore. So uh, this is a sequel to Echo the Dolphin on uh, Genesis. Um, in that game, the vortex came from outer space and uh, sucked up all of uh, Echo's pod, like his uh, family and friends and all the fish around them. And he had to like go through time and then go into the alien spaceship and destroy the aliens. But they're back. And uh, as Echo, we have to stop him again. Um, we're gonna go through time. Uh, we're gonna go through a few walls and it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be pretty cool, um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll point some stuff out. It, it can look pretty weird. It's kind of a weird game. Um, yeah, uh, this game is mostly glitchless. It's just a few stages where we have some good skips. Um, probably. Uh, well, yeah. I'll, I'll point them out as we get to them, and uh, feel free to you know chime in if I miss anything. Um, of course. Uh, I might have mm -hmm. to focus on a few things. Hopefully, I can get some. Good first try tricks. Uh, Don't give me a heart attack. <laughs> it, uh, no guarantees. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, let's see. I guess I'll get ready here. Um, oh, yeah, one thing, uh, I've, I'll, I'll point this out now. Um, make sure, I, I guess I should have said this earlier, uh, time will not be when the credits appear. It's a little weird in this game. It will be after that. Um, I'll, I'll say it. Of course, uh, it'll, it'll, it should be fine. Uh, but yeah, um, so time will begin when the screen uh, fades out to black uh, as I go up here to the right. Okay, so uh, I, I'm not sure how to count down. So uh, three, two, one-ish uh, time, or go, 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 oh. go, go time. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. You got this, friend. Okay, so while Cronin's in the first level, there are some things you should know about this game. Um, it actively resists precision play. Um, Position is tracked to the 65,000th of a pixel, and in 2D levels, you can only uh, turn once every eight frames. Uh, if you're not familiar with what a frame is, it's every time the screen updates. Everything else in this game runs at 60 frames per second, but only eight of those let you steer. Um, so what you're telling me is if we miss a trick, we could just blame subpixels. Uh, yes. Like every other game. <laughs> oh, yes. Played. Okay, good. good, good, good. But um, subpixels are especially bad in this game. Uh, and along with only being able to steer once every eight frames, uh, Echo's top cruising speed is actually about 30% faster than supersonic runs, and there are no brakes. <laughs> okay, freaking water. Okay, first trick here, and done. Yay. <laughs> If you all haven't played this game, it's basically you. It's I call it a dolphin them up, and um, <laughs> you uh, you know you have you have him swim through these confined levels, and you have to like basically explore the level, find out how to uh, get through little puzzles. Usually stuff like oh, push these crystals here, use this switch to open this area. Uh, most of that we'll just be ignoring. Mm -hmm. Kind of like keys opening doors. Exactly. It's it's weird like. Oceanic keys opening oceanic doors. Also, so in the first game, we got a bunch of like magical powers from this ancient creature called the Asterite, and we just lost them out of nowhere, and so we're basically traveling to try and figure out what happened. So oh, now we're, we're now we can drown uh, is the main thing. No longer invincible. Um. 
Another thing to know about this game is it was programmed by crazy Hungarians. And a little known fact about Hungarians is that they are all born with genetic knowledge of uh, cutting edge analytical geometry. So where most games of this era use hit boxes, this game uses hit octagons, hit triangles, hit trapezoids, hit intersections of two polygons, hit rhombi, and yeah, some of them are boxes, sure, why not? It's easy. Um, so here's uh, more lore. That is like my uh, son from uh, eons in the future. Uh, we're going to see a bunch of them. They can fly, they are telepathic, and they can travel through time. So uh, dolphins have it made there. Good stuff, as dolphins. As if your game about magical dolphins who can breathe underwater and fight aliens wasn't crazy enough, now we have future space dolphins. Uh, well, they're Earth dolphins. They can just fly with psionic power. Yeah, sure. <laughs> So, yeah, now we're in the future. This is what Earth will look like in, like, a million to billion years. I don't know what these are, but I can't wait to see them. Yes. Wow, great job. Awesome. First try. First try. God, I, that is really difficult. I, I was at that for, like, an hour and just couldn't. Yeah, so like, I, like you see here, you get like little uh, song keys or key songs or whatever from uh, some of those crystals, and then you whoop, okay. use it to uh, no. <laughs> open up other door crystals. Um, but I skipped it there. I guess this is a karmic payback, so now I have to do this whole thing again. <laughs> again, basically like fancy, <laughs> fancy keys and locks. They're just crystals. Oh, that tripped me up pretty badly. Okay, let's go, there you go. back here. Oh, the slowing kelp. There we go. Sometimes if you go too fast, like the song that you see that's like moving around, will just won't really reach echo, and uh, you'll just have to go back. And our honors cooler. So yeah, uh, there's ri also rivers in the sky in the future. Yes, the lore for this part is that the ocean has attained sentience and rose up and formed tubes connecting all the oceans to each other through the sky because yeah, that's how that works. This game is weird. Did you notice? It's kind of, kind of crazy. Um, it's a. Uh, let's just say the uh, the backstory to the to why this game was made and why certain uh, design choices were made is pretty interesting and actually pretty dark. Yeah. Um, if you're curious, go check it out. But I won't be able to mention it here on stream. This uh, whole game is actually like. Pretty dark if you if you look at it the entire way. You're like, what on earth? This was for kids. I mean, it's not like any kids ever actually made it that far because this game is really hard. This is our first boss that we don't actually hit. We just run from. Yes, All this right. boss is invincible. It will try to pluck you from the tubes and throw you down. Great job. Good job. Nice <laughs> avoidance. I'm I'm glad. I'm making a, a lot of minor mistakes, but I'm hitting the big stuff. Uh, no jinxy me. Um, that stage in particular, okay, thanks, thanks, son, um, can be uh, really brutal. Um, <laughs> all right, just uh, dolphin dancing. I got you, you know, dad. Guys. There we go. Good catch, son. Okay, I missed that bubble, but you can just grab onto uh, this uh, one of your sons. He's very prolific, let's just say that. Okay, and... Yes, Echo the Dolphin is basically the Genghis Khan of the ocean world. In a few generations, everyone will be his son. Okay, now we're a bird. What? Cool. <laughs> I think that was, was that like an asteroid piece, right? And no, um, I'm not actually sure the origin of it, but it's... Uh, it's called a metasphere. Uh, there's a few of them in the game. We'll be skipping most of them, but you can uh, metamorphosize into various uh, sea creatures and creatures that are around the sea. I believe that somewhere in this game there is a crystal that explains that the asteroid created the metaspheres to transform you into other creatures. Wow, perfect. <laughs> well, <laughs> perfect. Good, thing, good thing we're skipping all of those. Well, almost. Yeah, uh, we all will actually have to use uh, uh, the bird metasphere one more time. The stage right after this. 
Um, so these 3D stages are pretty dang simple. I'm actually just counting uh, the charge, which is the B button, um, just about four times in between e each one of these rings. I think the count is like 15 rings. Uh, if you miss one, of course, you have to do you get another one. Pretty simple if you can just uh, memorize the count. Um, Superman 64 looks a lot different than I remember. <laughs> Okay, so here we go, second bird section. Okay, whatever. Now, a little Woo. known oh, fact about no, it. Not good. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. It's okay, I'll just do it again. Is that eagles are perfectly capable of passing through solid objects. Uh, so, ease we enlist here, here nice. the aid of a friend Woo. eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, eagle. Okay. What a nice fellow. Mm -hmm. I do love how, like, I guess they're, like, trying to eat you, but they just knock you out of the sky constantly. Like, those are really bad eagles. Yeah. Terrible at what they do. But that one saves us about a minute, so. This is my favorite song in the game. I fucking love this music. Yeah. This is, in my opinion, the best soundtrack on the Sega Genesis. And if, you, if you're looking for good music to listen to, this is highly recommended. This one always makes me anxious. I think that's kind of the point. <laughs> I mean... You think it's fun? All right, here's our buddy, the asteroid. He's saying some stuff. Uh, Caught it. Uh, whatever. Thanks, thanks buddy. <laughs> Something about the Vortex Queen, like, eating him and destroying him in the past, and you have to fix it. Right. Like Cronin said at the beginning, the last game involved asteroid. I mean, excuse me, a involved a uh, vortex which ate a bunch of like life, and uh, now they're back. And uh, a dolphin has to stop them because yeah, yeah. Um, where are humans? Uh, we don't know. Fishing, I guess. I'd, I would think I'd rather have like a dolphin with a few stars and the ability to breathe underwater, saving me from humans involving, you know, an oceanic thing. What are they going to do? It seems to be less issue, ethical issues involved with a, a random dolphin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so this stage is, uh, well, these uh, stages here are, we're back in the present. They're kind of a little boring. Uh, can be kind of a mix of like a uh, search and rescue and like uh, escort. Um, so I'm trying to get these little orca babies back to their mother. It's kind of whatever. Um, this is one of the stages in hard mode where uh, it's kind of just made a little too much. You have to get yeah. four pairs instead of just two. And uh, there's also the maze of stone level, which is pretty brutal. Um, fortunately, we don't have to do that in any percent. Now I'm just gonna wait for one of these annoying little mammal fishes to uh, carry me to the end. Mammal fish. So uh, the reason why I'm actually just waiting here and just uh, messing around is because the end to the stage doesn't appear until this little orca baby uh, reaches a certain spot on the stage, and that's the only. This is the only stage where that applies. Yeah. So the the overall thing with this stage is you have to escort a bunch of orca babies back to their mother, and then an orca baby has to escort you to the end of the stage. You escorting the orca babies is pretty easy. They can't get lost. They glue behind you. Uh, the orca baby that escorts you, however, can fail its mission really terribly, and if you don't keep within a certain distance of him, he will disappear, and you have to get him all over. This is our first escort mission, in a way. Mm -hmm. Now we have our second being escorted mission. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of the stage is just waiting for our buddy here. I'm just gonna mess around with some jellyfish, or I don't know. Um, if he does get off screen uh, for long enough, he will despawn, uh, just like the orchid baby. Okay, so there's some a chance for something to happen here. 
Okay, it seems we're fine. Um, the, this dolphin can be kind of dumb and just get stuck against a rock. Yeah, uh, and That's sometimes weird. during the uh, four jumps there, he gets drunk, misses a, a waypoint he's supposed to go to, and then defies physics for no reason, uh, which costs two seconds, and nobody knows why it happens. Yeah, it's a lot of trouble when that happens. Uh, that's why I usually stay behind it. Um, because I, usually he moves pretty fast, and you're like, oh, all right, let me just try to catch up. And then he's, now he gets stuck, and then he's gone, and then you have to do all of that over again. Pretty much a reset. We just saw, like, two frames of our first, uh, first alien that Chrono just <laughs> immediately killed. Yeah, there'll be another one right around here. Oh. oh, whoops, there it goes. <laughs> we'll, we'll see more of them, don't worry. Right. Now yep. we have to kind of escort this thing uh, to break some blocks. I don't know what the heck it's supposed to be. They're sea stars. Why do sea stars break blocks? They eat rocks. What? Oh my god. The more you know. Welcome to GDQ, where you learn marine <laughs> biology. Mm-hmm. Damage than I want. Oh, this is damage yeah. boost oh, central no. right here. Yep. yep. I've really got to boost through just this line of jellyfish. I think yeah. I can take uh, one more hit. You're supposed to turn into a jellyfish in order to be able to get through them safely, but jellyfish move really slowly, so, you know. Made it through. All right. Um, this is the worst 3D stage. I hate it. <laughs> yep. Lots of lag. It is, yeah, it is exceptionally laggy. Well, and, yeah. Oh, go ahead and just go ahead. The hard part is in order to move fast through the 3D stages, you want to be constantly charging. But uh, you home on to the jellyfish while you're charging, and they can make it impossible for you to actually hit the rings. And the stage doesn't end until you get 12 rings. So uh, there's another stage that's laggier than this, but it has less jellyfish, so it's much, much better. These, these 3D stages were cool in, like, 1992, and now it's just kind of... Yeah. I mean, they're still more fun than Superman 64. <laughs> just a tiny bit. <laughs> okay, here's a uh, short gameplay mechanic. We'll only see it one more time in this game. Um, this is a uh, this is our friend just sinking to it, you know, the beauties of the ocean, and uh, what a wonderful world, and all sorts of stuff. Oh, hey, here's another buddy. Oh, God! <laughs> Oh, it's a savage place out there, folks. I love how it just, like, let you push it around, too. It's like, I trust you, Echo, in everything you do. It's like, you saved us all. I you love you. Oh. But no. Dolphin's got to eat. <laughs> okay, this is uh, another boss. Um, this is awesome pretty rough. I'm going to be trying to push it down, you know, for speed, uh, but I'm losing health because it's a very spiky uh, conch shell, um, so it's pretty risky. Yeah. And uh, that's not all. kind of wish I got those fish there. I have no health. No, I, okay, I got some. Uh, that red eel there can kill you pretty much instantaneously, and the yellow eels can also kill you very quickly as well. So I'm going to um, try to balance between health and speed here because it's a pretty long fight and I'd rather just get it done in one shot than have to redo it all. Yeah. When I made the first pass of this, I had no idea you could push the conch cell downward because why would you try it? It damages you when you touch it. <laughs> that was a weird movement there. So when the radiola's head pops out, um, that means it's going to come out to attack. Uh, but it also will move the conch shell towards you, which is why, for the most part, I let it be, um, because it has some pretty fast movement there. 
Uh, but sometimes it acts a little weird and doesn't really know what it's doing. So like it should have hit the wall and made a red eel come out and try to eat me alive, but it didn't happen. Okay, so now it comes out for real. All right. Um, can be can be fairly scary, but wasn't too bad there. Thank you. So those little orbs that we found, um, now we have to collect a bunch of them because that's the pieces of the shattered asteroid. Uh, so this is just a huge like um, exploration quest where we're trying to find these little orbs and rebuild our friend. Listener, can you explain why you keep calling this thing the asteroid instead of the magical space DNA, which it obviously <laughs> is? <laughs> um, I would, but it's like 7.30 in the morning. Okay. You understand. I, it's a little too early to be funny. So stop. <laughs> I make no promises. So uh, yeah, these stages here, we're rebuilding an asteroid. Um, kind of a set of their own, uh, sphere hunting stages. Uh, there's a bunch of asteroid spheres around the stage, and we just got to find them, uh, get two at a time, and then go right back to the asteroid, give it to him, and go forward. We're coming up to the biggest thing here. Um, so yeah, this whole stage is like a bunch of pairs. I don't remember how many, because there's a new trick found by Eludra. Um, thank here we you go. so much for this. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> this is what breathed, breathed new life into this run. So uh, this stage takes forever. I don't remember, like five or more minutes. Um, it's pretty crazy. You have to go all around. That uh, was first amazing. First but on boat. That was amazing. Great job. But whatever, we're done. <laughs> um, here's some whales. Meet Big Blue from the first game. Yeah. I love this level, it's just so pleasant. Wow. Nope, oh, you whoops. just spawned <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. For such a big, big sprite, yeah. These spawns fairly easily. Asteroids seem to get a, like a lot of a lot of orbs there. He didn't really need us after all. We skipped all those, and he's like, "Fine, I'll do it myself." Yeah, he gained like tw ten base pairs out of nowhere. It, it's really like a huge level. It's such a such a good thing that we skipped it. Yep, uh, not much more to say. Uh, still more hunting for spheres. It, it's, it's literally just go to the yeah. place that we know exactly where to go to. When you're playing this game, you have to explore it yourself. Uh, but with speedrunning, it's literally just like, oh, well, now I just have to make sure I don't bump into walls. You know, Constantly. Which is not easy <laughs> to do. Yeah. Walls are the main boss of this game. This what? level might be a good time for a couple of donations. Absolutely. We got a bunch here for uh, these runs going on. Uh, we got $50 here from Papa Ocioni. AGDQ is always one of the best times of the year. Glad to see Echo and Vector Man showcased as they were two childhood favorites. And I cannot wait to see them trivialized. That is the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Got twenty dollars here from Boog to the Man two forty five. Borg <laughs> says, "Hey, Cronoon, good luck on the runs. We are cheering you on in the Planet Planet Chaos crew." <laughs> uh, bunch of homies there. Thanks, guys. Got ten dollars from GCDRM. Hey, Cronoon, it's that guy that occasionally shows up in chat. Here before work to watch you destroy the most absurdly frightening and difficult game about a dolphin ever made. <laughs> Love from Planet Chaos. Got $50 here from Final Flame. Love the Echo games growing up, though I was never able to beat them. Glad I get to watch Cronin crush this one. So usually you'd like, when, this is the level where you turn into a shark, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but... Normally. uh Sharks can't go like too close to the top of the water, so. Yep. Well, the main thing is that the oh, shark. No. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that's a little rough. I has had a hold up. Has slow <laughs> up and down movement, and this second half of the stage is all about moving up and down. Fortunately, it has pretty good horizontal speed, so this won't look absolutely terrible. 
just fight some dolphins on the way. This part is kind of annoying. Uh, the interesting part about this is, as a dolphin, um, which is unintended, there is no air in this stage uh, when you go into these underground caverns. Um, so it can be pretty hard to learn. Usually I get there with like one or two uh, bits of air left. Kind of wish I could show that off, but it's a pretty short stage anyway. Mm. Um, this is the funnest 3D stage. Sharks are usually pretty dangerous predators. Just ram into those sharks <laughs> constantly. Yeah, um, you actually want to ram into the sharks for speed because every time you ram into a shark, you get to do a new charge immediately, and you accelerate fastest at the very beginning of a charge. I love these sharks doing these choreographed dances. Like, they've been practicing for months for this. <laughs> yep. This is their big show where they finally get to be slaughtered. <laughs> Okay, so we are, uh, this is a vortex base. Uh, in the present day, we are trying to infiltrate it. Um, that's right, because there is only two asteroid spheres left, uh, but the vortex are holding on to them because they're semi-intelligent, and uh, I'm going to try to take them back. So here's also another trick found by Lutra. I'm going to take this invincibility uh, just to make this a little easier. Okay, good. It's nice time. Pretty nice. It's not as uh, huge a time save as the eye, but it can still save like 20 seconds or more, um, depending on the run. It's uh, you have to get another key glyph and then open up another gate to uh, to get there. Um, basically, we aren't supposed to go through that sea urchin wall, um, but we did, and we're here in the vortex future. So this is like the the bad future. Oh boy. Uh, they took over in this future and. Uh, all right, by Vortex, I don't know. And there are, they, have, they have trouble. <laughs> there are no giant flying dolphin bros to help us out here, so it's very sad. Uh, there's not even much water here, so actually the cool thing about these stages, besides being filled with nice chrome and uh, being in the sky, is that there's just not a lot of water. There is a few water tubes, um, but a lot of it's going to be uh, mechanics that are a little different. Um, this stage also has probably the hardest trick in the run, and uh, it's coming up. I'll hit a checkpoint. You also saw, like, parts of this level, the gravity is kind of like changed. You can see with that, that thing yeah. up there. It's really tricky to control. Uh, it takes a lot of getting used to. So do it, doing this, this level fast is pretty tricky. Please don't fall. Oh. And yeah, oh. and there we go. Remember to practice your backups. <laughs> oh. Okay, I just missed a slight shortcut. That's not a huge deal. Um, yeah, the scary part really is. Uh, when you're doing it like more than first try, um, you can fall down those tubes, and without the checkpoint, uh, it can lose quite a bit of time on that stage, but it went pretty smoothly. So we haven't really explained this, but these crystals that he's singing to um, eat rocks for some reason, and uh, each of them eats a rock barrier that would otherwise be in the way of us completing the level. So we've got to find them all and sing sweet, sweet, seductive sonatas to them. Our lag monster. <laughs> Bye, <Yeah>. lag monster. <laughs> uh, there's two of those in the last stage, and uh, they like to party together and uh, kind of wreck the frame rate. But if you move fast enough, you don't have to worry about it too much. Too much blast processing. Mm -hmm. Got to blast the process every time. 
it's almost like maybe it's not a great idea to use like chains of 30, 30 or more octagons for an enemy in a Genesis game. I've always told myself that every Genesis game would be improved by more octagons. Someone Thank agrees you. with me. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Well, octagons are pretty nice. Echo 2 is a pretty good game, so uh, I, is a very good game. I guess your theory bears out. All right, here is the boss of the future. Uh, it's a giant ball. <laughs> uh, this, actually, this boss is very, can be pretty scary. Um, Okay, I don't want him to grab onto those uh, holders again. He will, he will heal. All right, get it. Okay. So I'm gonna have to just uh, get in place here for just a consistent setup. It can be pretty, pretty annoying. Okay, so it looks like he's loose. And I want him to shake around. You have to be very careful because like he can crush you just very suddenly. And in the second phase of the fight, he actively tries to. First try. First try. Yeah, well. <laughs> I kind of wish you didn't get stuck back in. Um, that boss fight, while kind of scary, can actually be really fun. Uh, if you can get him moving very fast, you can clear the first phase in one motion. He'll just keep on bouncing back and forth. It can be pretty scary, but I mean, it's yeah, it's a speed run. That's what you do. <laughs> yeah, my memory from childhood is that the globe holder boss, as it is called, um, was the most fun boss of the game. It's a pretty interesting mechanic. Please um, don't soft lock here. Oh, I, well, I don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm, for, for most of my mind. Um, yeah, one of the interesting things about the game is just how it's programmed. A lot of the animations, like, because we're in the ocean, is very fluid, especially with the big sprites. Um, as a kid, it was actually terrifying to see that because most games are very chunky. Um, but this, guy, this game seems a little bit too real as a, as a young, young Pippin child. Um, Anyway, we got the uh, spears. Uh, we restored the asteroid. Um, if you notice in the top right, we don't have the air meter anymore. Um, so now we're going back into the vortex space to, to whoops, to uh, wreck face. And you could see like the dolphins there. fighting back. back. Ooh, nice job. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Sorry, it talked over. You skipped half it's, dollar, yeah. scroller. It's actually a very easy trick. Um, just go really yes. fast at the wall. <laughs> it It'll suck it, you in. If you respect that wall, it costs you like two minutes. So, um, in the first game, there was a level called the Machine that was literally just this for ten whole minutes, like the worst auto scroller ever invented. So, no, no, it wasn't ten whole minutes. It was the exact length of Pink Floyd's "Welcome to the Machine." <laughs> that is true. Yes, it was quite a lot of minutes, at least. Uh, this is a, an homage to it, which. Um, it's a lot better because it's not the length of a really good song. And, and also we get to skip half of it because yes. the, the, the walls are basically paper. Oh yeah, so those are the vortex that I was just destroying earlier. Um, those are the evil space aliens. They look kind of like uh, prawns. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty hungry for shrimp, I'm sorry. Yeah. There's, uh, there's, but, this, there's, there's a really cool like plot twist involving these, uh, these things. Should, should we tell, tell it or like later on when it becomes more relevant? Uh, uh later on, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the Vortex Queen was the boss of the last game. Uh, she looked like those. Uh, this will go by very quickly. It might be a little freaky. Um, there she this, is. There she is. Hi, friend. She's a little hungry. She's eating some food. If you're up there and she sucks you in, you have to like do a little level, but if you just hang out here, uh, she can't really suck you in. Okay, and there you go. great job. <laughs> or is she? Okay, so uh, the game's not actually over, but it wants us to think it is. So uh, we're just gonna chill here for a little bit. Yeah. We did it better, Donkey Kong, in your face. <laughs> yeah. This false ending. <laughs> 
this is a good time for some more donations, if yeah. you've got any. It's literally just credits. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. I've got $25 here from Beef Wizard. Cronoon, miss playing these games with you. I'll see you soon. Donation goes to Runner's Choice. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks bro. No problem. $25 from Legend Mick Awesome. That's a great name. How cool was that Mega Turrican run? Hadn't heard of the game before. Shouts to the runner and his crew. Long time watcher, first time donator. Got $10 here from A Dolphin Expert saying, maybe this game is hard, but at least the plot is realistic. <laughs> I'd say so. $25 here from Wonder Baby. After 10,000 years of asking, is this game Echo the Dolphin in chat? It's only right for me to donate when the answer is actually yes. Echo is such a classic GDQ game. It's such a treasure to see it played again. Swim fast. Got $5 here from Lore Weaver. Hey, Upthorn. Lore Weaver here. Really proud of you for getting on the couch at AGDQ. See you back in the community Discord after the run. And save the animals, of course. Thanks, Lore. Got $10 from Echo is a good game. That's just an opinion, <laughs> not even a name. I woke up early to watch Echo. <laughs> You made it, congrats. And thank you for the $10 donation. I'd like to correct you, Spike Vegeta. That's not an opinion, that's a fact. That's a fact. <laughs> my bad, my bad. We've got $250 here from Evan Burge. No comment, but we thank you for your great generosity. Okay, Woo. now we actually have some gameplay again. Right, so this is the last 3D stage. We have the sharks, we have the jellyfish, we have the conch shells, and lots of lag. <laughs> Um, I'll be trying to use, see, I was going to say I was going to try to use the uh, jellyfish and sharks to boost faster, but as usual, the jellyfish like to pull you every which way, and uh, even at the last moment, you can easily get dragged out. That one was just my fault. Um, the other risk with this one is I'm already, like, at half health, so I'm probably just going to be quiet and just try to get through this one. Because uh, I'd have to restart the stage, which is actually pretty short. Yeah. Um, not doing myself any favors, though. Yeah, this is the one 3D stage where death is actually a plausible threat. Almost there. Nice. nice. Oh, gosh. You can see in the top left how many rings we have. Oh, well. no. <laughs> No, it restarted. It restarted. We have to. <laughs> yeah, no, it happens. I mean, dying happens. And yeah. <laughs> uh, it definitely looked like I cleared it, but. Oh, well, one more shot. One more shot. Uh, I guess this is now a good time as any. Shout out to Blue Glass. Uh, haven't seen him in a while, but he ran Echo last time. Um, it's a hard game. Uh, I'm lucky I haven't had. A lot of trouble. I'm also not doing hard mode, so respect to him. Mad respect. Yeah. Blue Glass, only RTA runner to attempt uh, Echo 2 hard mode. Uh. Attempt is a good word. I, I mean, mean, he, 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 he completed he it. He has the world <laughs> record, but. But, you know, anyone else looking at it is like, yeah, I, w I would attempt that. <laughs> exactly. I wouldn't attempt it. <laughs> To be fair, the main difference in hard mode is there we go. the fetch quests are longer, and there's three minutes of added uh, unskippable auto scrollers. So, as as well of the stage maze of stone, which is like all the puzzles of the game mixed together. Yeah, pretty brutal. Um, so this is Atlantis. It uh, featured a lot bigger role role in uh, the first game. Uh, we're only going to be here for a little bit. These are the final stages of the game. Um, Relatively simple stages, got a few tricks, uh, mainly just one on the next stage. Stages that, Th as a child, I had no idea these existed because those fake credits convinced me. <laughs> you just turned off the game, like, you yeah. immediately, like, oh, I won, bye. <laughs> well, I mean, I swam around, saw that I was in the first stage, and was like, oh, okay, guess that's everything there is. Hello again, friend. You saved us once more. 
I'm so eternally grateful. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. I'm definitely your friend. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Betray fish percent. Favorite. <laughs> yep. Uh, this is the level where we're going for a time machine, right? Like suddenly it get, gets like real uh, science fiction. I no! think it wasn't already. Oh no! I was just about to comment on how dangerous that is. Well, why comment when you can show? <laughs> I'm filled with regrets at the moment, but it's uh, fine. <laughs> as they say in showbiz, show, don't tell. <laughs> at least we get to see the fish one more time. He lives! Oh, boy! <laughs> yes. But yeah, we're, 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 we're going to a time machine. Um, I don't remember exactly what those, those dolphins told you, but I think they told you to go hunt it down in order to... Do something? I don't remember what it was. Uh, yeah, uh, I think the magical space DNA uh, told us that the Vortex Queen had sneakily survived and was trying to find the time machine, so we have to go destroy it before she can get to it. Yes. Um, quick, like, uh, spoilers, because, I mean, I, I, this is a kind of a crazy story, but uh, he, she actually does get to go into the past, but she kind of gets lost there and um, isn't really able to do exactly what she wants, but instead she uh, creates crustaceans and like, all, isn't that right? Do, am I remembering that correctly or is that um, like the, the PS1 game? No, you're, you're remembering correctly. So in this stage, we're supposed to be transformed into a school of fish by that uh, metasphere that you saw very briefly at the beginning. We're supposed to be forced into it, but for some reason it doesn't care if we touch it, if we're not looking towards it. Wonderful karmic twist. You know, you eat fish the whole game, and then you become fish and are eaten by dolphins. Um, but not this time. Right, so the last stage of the game, uh, this is now... This is the scariest thing to ever exist. Yeah. I'm now a solid dolphin, I guess. This is the <laughs> stealth portion. Mm -hmm. off. Yeah, and it turns out the, the mission the asteroid gave us to get to the time machine before she can is impossible because it is blocked by gates that only open for her. This stage is incredibly brutal on hard mode. Oh yeah, there's like 18 bajillion gates on hard mode. On easy mode, there's... Get out of here. Three. As she is an instant kill, by the way, if she like grabs you. She just wants to hug, but those hugs are, she hugs you. they kill, so uh, just avoid them. It's not her fault. Right, okay. um, so time is actually coming up really quickly here. There's going to be like another ring. I'm going to go into it. Um, there'll be a scene transition into a cutscene. Um, I'll be just around the corner here. Shut up, you. Get in there. <laughs> Come on. Let's get this over with. There it is, time. <laughs> So this is a time machine, and uh, Echo is using it one last time, and also destroying it so nobody else uses it. He's going to go in the distant past, uh, where there are no other dolphins like him, to destroy Vortex Queen as a heroic uh, creature. All right, one last thing. The secret password is... All right. Good stuff. Uh, as I thought, it's, it's really hard to have very uh, good gameplay in this. You have to just not hit anything and hit everything first try. Um, uh, generally, it's actually a really fun run. I definitely recommend people picking this up. Uh, maybe not the first one, definitely this one. Um, it's a fun game. Uh, please try it. Um, we're we're uh, open and welcome to you. Um, thank you. Yeah. And while we get set up for Cronin's second of his back-to-back -back games, we got Vector Man coming up here very soon. Uh, let's read off a couple quick donations for you guys. We've got a $10 donation here from Boon Spoon. Hi, Cronin. Boon Spoon from chat here. I watch you every day. Good luck, lots of love. Great run. Thank you, Boon Spoon.
Got $50 here from Sebzilla. Thank you to everyone who spends time making this event happen. Thank you, Seb, for your donation. Five dollars here from Lane de Link. Lane, Lane, Lena de Link. <laughs> yes, I'll go with that. I'm sorry, I probably butchered that. I thought I would, I would uh, give part of my Christmas gift uh, to those in need. Cancer is scary just by mention alone. I hope a measly five dollars donation may be enough to help for my part. Good luck with the runs. I can't wait to see the VODs this year. Also, someone tells Spike he is awesome and a funny guy. No one had told me yet. Thank you. Five dollars here from Dust Glow. Long time watcher, first time donating. Everyone's been lovely and friendly. Keep it up. Thank you, Dusk. Treeling13 donates $75 and just says, have fun. We'll do tree. Five dollars from Bird 101. Splatoon 2 Dolphin expansion looks pretty neat. Agreed. Ten dollars from Mother Organoid. Big fan of Echo, and I love seeing it played by you guys. I'm a cancer survivor, so seeing my favorite game played for a good cause is incredible. Thank you, Mother, and congratulations. Got $50 from Chaos Kid. Second time donating to GDQ. Love all of the speedrunners that speedrun games to fight cancer and helping those who need help. Thank you, Chaos Kid. Got $50 from DS Dad 146 Hey, Spike, did we meet once? I uh, don't know, but uh, hello. <laughs> and I hope you're having a good day. Says, maybe, have a good show. Will do, DS Dad. <laughs> 